Hey guys, just found a wee binder update here of um, some of the cards I've got in my personal collection. Just because I've been buying collections while doing all the openings as well. So I've not just been buying boxes to open for um, the channel. I've obviously got more folders full of each packs, but these are just some um, singles and collections I've bought over the time. Then trying to get back into a bit of the Wizard of the Coast. Yeah, I've got my base set Mewtwo. Clefairy. Um, got my... Um, Japanese Tentacruel, the Jungle Kangaskhan, these are Japanese cars, yeah, these are the originals, these aren't the um, evolutions, the Jungle Electro, Jolteon, Muck and the Fossil Moltres, so all these cars aren't exactly all um, expensive cars, but just cards I actually like, like the Black Star Promo, Articunos, Moltres, the Mew and Mewtwo, now we got the Delta Species, Crystal Guardians, Charizard Evolution, it's quite a cool evolution set there, um, a Haggard Dark Charizard, the Delta Species, the old Crocodiles, and then the Pikachu Evolution. Which got your Delta Species Mewtwo and Blastoise, and Salamence and Typhlosion. And you got the nice EX Zapdos there. Looks just nice looking cards, these ones. Uh, they got into some singles I bought just for, as I thought they would be. Um, like investment pieces, but they haven't really gone up in price, but they're still cool cards anyway. The old Hidden Fate promos, even though you really shouldn't be investing in promos. And you got the Secret Rares of the Heat Roton. It's really nice looking Umbreon. And probably one of my favourite cards as a kid. I was lucky to buy in a collection, the um, Agent Mew promo card. Obviously Charizard, because... Everybody loves Charizards, and they're good, any Charizards really good investment. The Delta Species, Latios and Latias. Um, you got your yeah, old VMAX Charizards, which I've somehow got three of them. Pulled, managed to all pull by myself. And the Venusaur, which I just bought this week. And the EX Latios. And some cool cards are actually probably some of my favourite cards, even though they're not the most pricey, but got the old Flareons from the um, Generations lot. So it was actually cheaper to buy these in singles than it is to buy a single pack. So I thought, yeah, I was paying those two with the price of a single pack now these days. So I thought, you might as well just buy them as the same price. Obviously, you hidden fate stuff there. And the more Pika VMAX, I've actually bought a couple of them, just so I actually just like the card itself. I bought one for the um, binder and one for the um, set. And I bought a couple of these Jirachi cards, those are quite cool looking cards. And I bought the $60 tin just for the Pikachu. I pulled nothing, but it's just a cool card anyway. And there's just some cards I pulled. When I first started buying packs again. Another Jirachi, they're just, every Jirachi is pretty much a cool looking card. But we never got those Jirachi um, big packs here in New Zealand, unfortunately. We've got the old Evolutions, Japanese. I just like the old Japanese cards, always a lot better condition than the crap we get here. Got the E Series Suicune, Togetic. Then we got the first edition, Sabrina Scarcely, Haunter, but these aren't first edition, and the Gengar, just a cool wee evolution line. Ended up actually selling my um, Japanese Gengar, the first edition one, um, from Jim Heroes. So we got offered a price I couldn't turn down. I kind of regret it a wee bit, but at the end of the day, money talks, everything's to sell for a price. Got your base set, Charmander, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, your starters. And your Black Star promo flying and surfing Pikachu. 
these are more like um, just like Pikachu, Pichu's cards. These ones here got your first edition Pikachu. Even though they're probably not worth much, most of these, but I just, I just like them. Just because old Pikachu, you can't go wrong. Terry, I reckon that generation is probably one of the most underrated sets out there. There's more basic Pikachus. When going through those, I actually found a fake one, unfortunately, so I just ripped that up, throw it away, just no point having fakes. I really like that Pikachu there that came out of the Eevee in Pikachu tin. Got your beat up uh, basic Gyarados. I didn't realise what this is actually an Era, Jolteon, and Venomoth. It's missing um, just there, the old jungle symbol on both of them. Even though they're a bit beat up, it just makes them a lot rarer. And another Black Star promo flying and surfing Pikachu. Just after I bought those two, I ended up buying a whole collection and they were all in it. Just a few, yeah. Jungle rares, non hollows, and just that's some of the Delta species, just because I think it's one of the best sets or underrated sets, also. And it was all in the collection that I bought. And you got the Shadowless uh, Rare Dragon here. And just a few other wee cards here, and just obviously just. Back here, just my evolutions of what I'm sitting on at the moment. Let's quickly go through this. I'll open probably about two booster boxes worth of cards, and this is how I'm sitting. I didn't do too great. But I've also got um, just here, kept them sealed in the super thick top loaders so you can actually get them. In their plastic bags and these without wrecking the cards so i've opened up two um champions path etbs pulled nothing got my really minty cp6 charizard japanese got that online for a ridiculous price but for sales it sells doesn't keep it on my collection another vmax charizard the other one's in the binder Got the Yell PSA 10 handle. Can't go wrong with anything. Wizard of the Coast is a 10 for under 100 bucks, I reckon. Even if they are common cards. And Jimmy um, Charizard from Hidden Fates. Yeah, cheers, guys, for all yeah, the likes, subs, and everything you've done to the channel. We're 100 and close to 130 subs now. You're killing it. Cheers, guys.